pickup game, who would I pick up? What five guys would I pick up to make sure I hold on to the basketball? Scottie Pippen, for sure. Magic Johnson, James Worthy, and Akeem Olajuwon. I got no chance of losing, none at all. Olajuwon, he was in the top 10 in five categories. Steals, rebounds, block shots, scoring, and shooting percentage. You know what I mean? To have a big guy of his size to be in the top 10 in steals. Now you can assume that he would be in blocks, which to me shows versatility of what type of guy he really was. My favorites. You know, that's hard, you know, because, you, you know, it's like saying, which one of your kids do you like the most? Uh, 11s are my favorite, threes are my next favorite, and probably 12 or 13 comes in third. I always wore a brand new pair of shoes every game. So you figured at the, at the beginning of the season or at the end of the season, I'd gone through almost 150 pairs of shoes. And the reason that I chose to do that is because if you ever were a kid, and you ever put those shoes on for the first time, it's like you feel energetic. You feel like you got something that you can actually showcase. Well, I wanted that feeling every game. My most memorable dunk that I think about very, very often is the Patrick Ewing dunk. And that's only because Patrick and I are such great friends. And Oakley was, was a part of that whole process because he thought he could defend. And it was the one that I... We got into a screen and roll, and then I spent back, and, and Patrick was, I told him, Georgetown guys don't block shots. All they do is take charges. <laughs> and I dunked it so hard on him, it was unbelievable. And I, every time I see him, that's the first thing I remind him of. And, you know, a couple other ones would be, probably be Matumbo with the finger swing. He knew it was coming. He did it to everybody. You know, he did it in everybody's building. I think me and Scotty got him back to back. Scotty got him first, and then I got him. And he couldn't answer, he couldn't say anything, but he's blocked so many shots. So I mean, if you're a shot blocker, you know, that doesn't bother you. Just wait for the next opportunity, which I'm pretty sure he got me back at some point in time. But to be able to do that to him, oh, that, that, was, that was gratifying. Probably the guy from the fifth championship because he was a little bit more knowledgeable, he was a little bit more craftier. 92 was strictly off of adrenaline, you know, athleticism, smart, Good team, you know, hungry. But in 95, it was like I knew. I knew what I was capable of doing. I knew how to get from one point to the next. Uh, I did it uh, from a strategic standpoint as opposed to from an athletic standpoint. Uh, the significance of 23. Well, in high school, when I played with my brother, uh, my favorite number was 45. And his, his favorite number was 45. But we were on the same teams. So he had seniority. He had the option to wear 45. So I just... Figured 23 was half of 45, 22 and a half. So I got grabbed 23, and 23 has kind of stuck with me the whole time. I went back to 45. Obviously, uh, I was just coming back from retirement. My father just passed. He never actually, I never won any other number other than uh, 23 in front of him in the, in the NBA. So I, I kind of felt like I wanted to start off fresh. You know, it's a new start. So I went back to my old number, which is 45. And for whatever reason, that didn't click in terms of uh, luck or just the way I felt. Uh, the number 12 jersey happened in Orlando. Um, I was going out for my normal pregame uh, activity and then when I get to my locker to put on my uniform, my uniform has been stolen. So uh, uh, everyone was trying to go into the stands to try to find my jersey, replica jersey that everybody was wearing coming to the games. None of them fit obviously. So I ended up wearing number 12 for that one particular game. I actually played pretty good that game if I remember correctly. 